If you are a local business owner that specializes in the home improvement niche, such as a roofer, garage door repair, foundation repair, carpet installers, electricians, plumbers, a kitchen remodeler, bathroom remodel, the list goes on and on. Um, you probably set up your Google My Business profile as an SAB service area business. Now you do this because you don't want your address shown to the world. You don't want actually customers driving to your house possibly or to your office because that is not where you conduct business. Your goal is to actually be found by potential customers in the Google 3 pack and then you be able to go drive to their homes. Now, some of you may wonder, you know, am I at a disadvantage because I'm having to hide my address? And I get some calls and some emails. People wonder, you know, my pin is not showing in the map. And so does that mean that I'm not going to rank as well as my competitors that have a physical location and are showing their address? Absolutely not. You can definitely rank your business and be shown in the Google 3 pack for your most profitable keywords even if you hide your address, even if you are set up as an SAB. Now, what you need to be concerned about is having to do things the right way. Now, if you are showing your current, you're showing your physical address right now, your GMB is showing your physical address, but really customers cannot come through the door. You really do not qualify to show your address. Now, do not go and hide it because whatever rankings you may have right now will disappear as soon as you hide your address. Now, you might be concerned competitors may report me or somebody may report me that this is not a physical location. Don't worry about it right now, please. Make sure that you get better rankings and you stabilize your rankings before you go and hide your address. I know what I'm telling you, I've seen it happen before. Now, you might be a new business or you're getting ready to order to request your GMB, do it the right way. If customers cannot come through the door, if you cannot put a sign on the door, do it the right way, go ahead and request it and hide the address. Now. For those who already have an SAB, they're hiding their address. This is the roof for the foundation repair, the garage door repair. Do not worry. What you need to be concerned about and be strategic about is do you have the top ranking factors working on your favor? What are those? Let's cover those today. Okay, we'll talk about the top ranking factors. Let's go with the easiest one. Can't you get your most profitable keyword as part of the GMB title? Some of you know that this is huge. It's a huge ranking factor. Now, if your competitors are using garage doors in the brand, garage doors, garage doors, but nobody's using garage door repair, get garage door repair in your GMB title, garage door repair pros or garage door repair uh, team, but get your most profitable keyword in your title. I have some videos that tell you exactly how to go about it, but it's definitely worth it to have your most profitable keyword in the title. Second, get your GMB category that matches the keyword. So you enter the keyword in the search bar, you look for the competition, you look for the top three, maybe four competitors, see what is a main category. There are some other tools I can give you the GMB category for that keyword, but you can pretty much have an idea what the GMB category is for that specific keyword. So your best keyword, match the categories for that keyword and let that be your primary GMB category. Number three, get a heat map. Know where you are exactly as far as your keywords are concerned check your rankings first and it's really hard i mean you may think that you're ranking your office but then about a mile down east are you ranking about a mile west or south or north you know where are you ranking exactly so why don't you go ahead and get a heat map local falcon is absolutely phenomenal they charge about 25 dollars a month i have the larger package because i have a lot of clients but uh if you get the 24 dollars, you can upload it your gmb you can then uh, enter as many keywords as you want. It'll give you a heat map. You can go as little as one mile. You can go as large as 10 miles. Now, you got to know whether you can actually break proximity. I never take clients that can only rank in a two mile radius. I always take clients that we can go all the way to a 30 mile radius. And I wouldn't know necessarily unless I ran the heat map. It's really not up to us SEOs how much we can break proximity. Google is telling us basically whether we can break proximity or not. So let me show you an example of what that looks like. 
So this particular gentleman wanted his business to rank number one in the Google three pack for a specific term, gutter cleaning. I said, okay, go ahead and send me your maps URL. If you don't know how to get your maps URL, please send me uh, your name, address, and telephone number so I can find you on Google. And, and he did, as you can see here, he does have gutter cleaning in the title and he said he wanted to be he known or ranked for gutter cleaning. So I immediately thought it was going to be easy. He said, um, I need to be known in a seven mile radius, which is normally fairly easy for me as well. So I went ahead and ran a scan. I never take a client without running a scan because I really want to make sure that I'm going to be able to deliver. So, well, here we go. I ran the scan and I see uh, it's pretty challenging. And now some of you have seen my videos. I always take clients with 20 pluses. What this means right here, for some of you that are not familiar with Local Falcon, when you see this scenario right here, it means that not only are you not in the Google 3 pack, you're 20 plus places down. So forget it. Nobody will ever find you uh, 20 places down. So um, before I say yes, I have to make sure that I can rank this client. And this is how I know, this is how I evaluate whether I can take a client or not. Again, it doesn't matter how good or how bad they look. What matters to me is go up here to competitors and view competitors. Now here you're going to have a really good idea as to whether you can rank your business or if you're an SEO, if you can actually help your client rank. Now notice here that this number one guy uh, ranks in this little bit of space. Now. The scan itself is for seven miles. Um, I'm gonna say it's about 2.5 mile radius. The number two guy is about, I'm gonna say it's about a two mile radius. The number three guy, it's a little bit, uh, it seems like it's taking a little bit more, but if you notice in the three pack, I'm gonna say it's again a two mile radius. Number four is the same and number five is the same. So what are we looking at here? We're, we're noticing that nobody breaks proximity in this area. It would, I would not be able to guarantee the client that we can run past three miles. So it's not up to us, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, it's not up to us as SELs to determine whether we can take you past the three, four, five, 10, 15 miles that you desire. Is It's Google for whatever reason allowing or not allowing for you to break or expand that proximity. So in this case, I said, I think that you better move out of the area if you can, because it's just gonna be really, really hard. These are giants, you're competing against giants that are very well established in the area. But if you think about it, they're still not getting enough business. Um, so this is an example. So it doesn't matter whether you show your address or you hide your address, can you actually break proximity? Now, it's really easy to upload your business here in Local Falcon. Let me show you how. Just simply go to localfalcon.com and sign up for an account. Um, it's been a while since I did this, but I believe that they give you 100 free credits. So if you just want to run a couple of scans, you'll be fine. For you guys, SEOs, I, I highly recommend that you guys get Local Falcon. There's Local Viking, and I know Bright Local can give you heat maps as well as LeadSnap is also providing a, some, uh, something very similar to Local Falcon. I just find it really easy and it's really inex inexpensive in my opinion. So you go to locations right here. You notice here up on the top, it says add locations. You can add it by, by text or by place ID or just to, or you can import it from your Google account. I normally do it by text because most of the time it's as somebody that is uh, so, seeing me on YouTube and says, hey, Jassy, can you help me write my business? This is my keyword. This is the name of my business. And I just simply go here. Um, they give me the name of their business. I upload the name of the business. I find them and then I run the scans. In your case, you want to type in or copy paste the name of your business right here and give it a go. Now that you've uploaded your location, you have to make sure that you set the right address. Now, if your business normally shows the address, you're going to see the name of your location right here to the left and then the address. But if you are SAB hiding your address, you're going to see just your city and your state. And that's not necessarily good for the tool because the tool is trying to find you, right? And if the city is fairly large, 
it's not going to know where to look for you. So you give it a three mile radius. It doesn't know where to find you. So chances are you're going to get the wrong scan. Simply go to this pencil right over here and type in your address or just copy paste your address. Once you have the right address, then you can start your scan. So after you've done that, go up here where it says run and scan. The very first option will give you a list of your different locations. So if you just have that one, just pick that one. Or if you have a few, just pick the one that you're going to be uh, scanning today. Notice right here on keywords on the right, it gives you a drop down of keywords suggested depending on this category and depending on this business. If you find the keyword that makes you the most amount of money or the keyword that you're interested in today, just simply go ahead and click on it and add it. Now, uh, a lot of my students ask me, should I do a nine by nine or 11 by 11? Uh, it depends on your credit. If you have plenty of credits, yeah, sure, go 11 by 11 or 13 by 13, why not? But you gotta remember that each little dot is going to be a charge to your credit bank. So uh, if you're just trying to get an idea as to whether you're going to be able to break proximity or not, I would say do the five by five. You want to do a six mile radius because that way, not only are you checking to see how well or bad your rank, remember, it's about checking the competitors. Is Google allowing to break or expand proximity based on your competitors? You will know if you have chances of reaching that six mile radius or not. I always like to show you my before and after so you know that there is a method for everything and you can actually rank your business if you do things correctly, whether you show your address, whether you hide your address. As long as you, just, you follow the method, you should be just fine. In this particular example, we wanted to rank for handyman. Uh, as you can see here, handyman is part of the business title, so you would think we had uh, a pretty good chance, right, of ranking, but uh, not so much. We were not doing very well. We looked at the competitors and we can see that the competitors are all breaking proximity. Now, this is very, very, very important for a lot of you, my fellow SEOs, we were thought that uh, we needed to build a whole bunch of location pages and we needed to create traffic to those location pages and map embeds and etc all that nonsense right in able in order for us to actually break proximity in my opinion just look at the scans and then just see is anybody else are any of these competitors are actually building location pages they're not so I would say, save yourself the time, don't build location pages, just look at the data. If the competitor is breaking your desired proximity, so can you, why? Because Google is allowing it. In the other example with the gutter guy, it doesn't matter how hard you work, you're not gonna break proximity. Here, right here, these are handyman businesses. I doubt they're all SEO, and yet they're breaking proximity. My point is, just look at the data, look at the competitors. If you see that they're breaking proximity, then of course you're gonna be able to rank applying the right method. Now, if you notice, I did it here for three miles. So I invite you to train with me. The way I do it, I rank my clients by faces. This would be phase one. Phase one means if you're not ranking fully green in a three mile radius for your most profitable keywords, you are in phase three. Now, what does that mean? We gotta get your green out. Once you make sure that you, you can break proximity, there is a certain recipe. Yes, I do it with click-through rate, but not just any click-through rate, because right here, we're not gonna try to go for 20 or 30 keywords. We're not. We're going to be very strategic as to what type of traffic we send and where we send it from. And we're gonna be looking at the GMB insights, uh, making sure that whether you know we have or we don't have the keywords. So it's a very strategic recipe that works every single time. So I invite you to train with me, whether you are SEO or whether you are a local business owner, if you have the time to go through the training, I invite you to train with me. So having said that, Let's see what happened. This is, uh, let's take a look at the date here. This is November 8th, and we were pretty challenged with a lot of red. So what happened by November 14th? That's just six days later. Let's see what happened. Oh my goodness, we were able to, <laughs> we were able to green out. 
Yay, we got it, we did it. It can happen very, very, very quickly. Now, this is what I consider the end of phase one. When you're fully green in a three mile radius and you got your most profitable keywords inside of your GMB data, it's time to go for phase two. In phase two, it's a different recipe. You gotta push for more keywords. You gotta push for more uh, distance. Uh, you gotta implement a, a a different recipe when it comes to the click-through rate and you got to change your GMB insights all over again. So uh, we were able to do phase two. You want to see it? So here's phase two. You can see this is at the end of phase two, January 24th. Now you'll notice that there's a gap in the date. We actually skip a month and that's because after we greened out very, very quickly in a three mile radius, the client wanted to pause because it was enough business at that time for what he could handle. So he wanted to make sure that he could actually service a six mile radius if he could rank in a six mile radius that quickly. And so he said, okay, get started. Beginning of January, we got the campaign started. Again, it's a different recipe, but this is at the end of January. Well, January 24th, I presented a report and we were very surprised. Well, not surprised, we were happy. We were very happy for the client to have ranked uh, in a in a six mile radius, not surprised because we know that the method works. Yet again, it, time and time again, uh, I, you got to see some of my other reports. It's just amazing how after just a month we're able to fully green out. It's 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 beautiful. So yes, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised time and time again. Hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I put a lot of effort into uh, bringing these videos and helping you uh, train your eyes so you can have better gains for your business or for your clients if you're an SEO. My course is out and I love training other SEOs. My intention is that you're just as successful as I am or even more successful than me, why not? So if you're interested in my course, it's very easy, it's done one-on-one. -on -one. Please send me over an email. You're going to see my email address in the description of this video. You'll see my telephone number as well if you care to call me directly. If you're a local business owner and uh, do, you, do you want to have a shot at this, you want to see if you even qualify for, for stuff like this but you don't have the time, find your maps URL. So simply look at your business on search, go to maps and copy paste that URL and send it over to me. Tell me who you are and what are the keywords that are going to bring you the most amount of money. I'll make sure that I'll create a strategy for you so you can get that phone ringing and you can grow your business the way you want to, even beyond what you think you could actually grow your business. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys until the next time.